uh, embed a Google form in your uh, blog post. So first of all, looking at the Google form that I've created here on the right side, just a, just a couple things to clarify. One is uh, if you're going to have collaborators, in other words, people that are going to help you design the form, uh, you would click up here in this link, go to add collaborators, and you'll see that your names are in here because I've got this, uh, this form inside our shared folder, okay? But when you go to post your form on the uh, on your blog, it's really much more more like sending the form to someone to fill out, as if, for example, they were taking a survey. So uh, if you weren't doing this as a blog post and you just wanted to send it to people, you could do it here via email, or you could get a link and copy the link and put it somewhere. But what we're going to do is we're going to embed it. So uh, again, we're going to we're going to click here on send. We're going to click on this uh, HTML uh, insignia and we're just going to do highlight this and copy it. So now I've got that entire what's called an iframe code uh, on my clipboard. Uh, meanwhile, I'm logged into our website in kind of the student version of me. So we need to add an HTML snippet. Now this is done this is a way of making sure that um, collaborators on the site, for example, you students, um, can't accidentally add, add some bad code. This is kind of a little holding area for code uh, on embeds. So I'm going to go to HTML snippets here, and you'll see that I've got a couple. And I label them with my name. Um, it only shows me mine as a default, but if I click on all and we go to manage all these, uh, it would be really nice to know who's or who's. Like, for example, this one, we don't know where it's from. This one doesn't even have a title. Uh, I think it's nice if the names are there. <laughs> so let's, let's go add new. And uh, I'm going to just type in uh, Peter uh, Zulu form like this. And I'm going to paste that snippet in like that. And I need to publish this snippet. And what it does is it gives me a little bit of code, which is right here. And I need to grab the whole bold thing, including the brackets at the end. And I'm going to copy those onto my clipboard. And then I'm going to go over here to a new post. And I'm going to start a new post. And we're going to call it uh, Zulu test like this. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put some text in here. Uh, space down and put some text in there because it's going to be easier for me later on when I'm kind of writing the post. Um, the other thing that you're going to want to do is you're going to want to add an image to the post. Uh, that might be something that you'd like to do and you could add media, uh, whatever. But I just find it makes some sense to get something there on the page. So I'm going to paste that snippet code there and then, and by the way, I'm on the visual side, not on the HTML side. So this works as if you were just uh, creating a new post. And then if I go to preview, you'll see that um, I now have the beginning of a post with uh, a little spot up here if I want to add some more text or explanation, uh, etc. some more stuff here. And so this is a version that somebody coming to this site could actually uh, write an answer in here. Okay. Um, all right. Have fun with that.